Let me focus. I really can't tell. Are my contacts blurry? I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? It's Chachi, and today, as you <clears throat> today, I'm gonna be doing a uh raw honeycomb taste test. I saw Bretman Rock doing this, but I also have seen a lot of this honeycomb stuff going around on the internet. Before I get started, um, someone made one comment on my um, off-road video about my sideburns, and I, and I tweeted um, that I'm going through this weird like grow-out process with, with them because I've just been all over the map with them since I was a kid. Us ethnic girls, we know about this. Um, but then it's like as soon as I tweeted one thing, then all the trolls like started being like, ew, disgusting, da 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 So I probably shouldn't have said anything to begin with, but um, it's hair and it's natural and it happens to girls too. So I'm trying to do my best to make them not look crazy right now. Um, a lot of people are recommending waxing and things like that. I am not a fan of a grow out process. Um, I can't, like since I was in fifth grade, like 10, I went to my mom, I, I don't have any hair on my arms or anything. I'm like, no hair, eyebrows down, TMI, but I don't care. Like, it's just, it's a weird thing for me. I'm gonna just start kind of like styling them in a way, like how I used to do. I used to like, you know, with the toothbrush do the thingy. So I like them. It also really looked weird on me to not have any kind of sideburn. And I also like, I'm Mexican, like us Mexican girls, we have it. And, I'm proud of them, except when they look crazy. So I've been trying a bunch of different things, so then I just cut them short and like wanted to redo the process. So please bear with me during this time, sideburn announcement. So I'm gonna get into the video. I just wanted to make that quick announcement first. I am actually, I got these, I've been trying to do this video for over a month. So I've had these sitting in my kitchen for over a month. And I don't know if there's like a, um, like an expiration date on these and I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't like honey like at all But they say that it's different than like store-bought honey like it's not as sweet But I find that hard to believe so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Here we go I have one two three four four different types of it's so sticky. I hate it I don't like honey, but I'm so curious like I want to try it. I don't like not liking things like any food that I'm not a fan of, I keep trying it until I like it. I don't know. So the first one I'm gonna try is this Pure Bee Honeycomb by Ziad Ziad. And it's like you can't even use napkins because then you just you stick to the napkin. How do you, how come the honey is on the outside and not the inside? Duh! Gosh! Oh, I should title this video on how to open a honeycomb packet. That's what it looks like. Um, so I'm just gonna cut into it, really. I'm gonna use a fork. The sound! So I first saw this stuff in ASMR, and I was like, it looks fun. <laughs> I'm scared, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't want to take that big of a bite, okay. That's just a lot. I don't like that. That's how this video is gonna go. I heard they all taste different, so that one was a no. Second one is Sweet Bee Florida Wildflower Honeycomb. That one's better. So now in this part of the video, I am now on Instagram Live. I can't put another bit of honey in my mouth right now because it is just horrible. I don't like honey. I tr I've tried it, I wanted to try it. So just so I don't cut this video too short, um, I wanted to do a surprise, a live Q&A. So I've never done this before. Don't worry, these aren't gonna go to waste. I know someone who very, very much loves honey, so I will give it to them. I'll wrap it in a bow and everything, even my chewed up piece. <laughs> What's my social sign? 
do you mean my zodiac sign? What's a so social sign? My zodiac sign, I'm an Aquarius. I have my Aquarius constellation tattooed on me. Do I want kids? Yes, I definitely want kids. I've wanted kids since before um, I hit puberty. <laughs> they were like, whoa, slow down. <laughs> no, I definitely want kids. I love kids. If I wasn't doing what I was doing, I actually was going to go to school to be a pediatrician. Um, I thought that's where my life was going to go, but who knew my hobby would turn into my career. What's my favorite song? I have a lot of favorite songs, but I think my newest favorite song that I've been listening to over and over again is My Girl by Dylan Scott. It's a country song. Um, I listen to like all kinds of music. It makes me so happy. I like driving to it. <laughs> Another Mug Mug will be out Monday. Um, I got the Carbo noodles um, that everyone's been telling me to try. So I ordered those. Should come in today actually, and I'll film that today. Can you could dance? You can move his body around. <laughs> Funny memory I have of Yuka. We were at a really really nice hotel in um, Palm Springs and we had reservations at their really nice restaurant. And Yuka like rarely combs his hair and I'm like, you need to brush your hair. Like he'll just do this, like a guy. And I'm like, you have beautiful hair and longer hair than me now. Take care of it. Um, so I'm like, oh, like we're sitting there and we're at dinner and I was like, oh, I really needed to do like a treatment on your hair. And he goes, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that tonight, baby. And he's like, okay, baby, we do, we'll do that tonight. <laughs> so then he's like, I'll go to the restroom, I'll be right back. He's like taking so long. I'm like, okay, like he poops a lot. So I'm like, maybe he's pooping. I'm just here. He comes back. He had went to the front desk to ask for a hair comb and he teased his hair in the bathroom to make it a fro. Like it's just sticking straight up. That's the photo. It's this photo right here. <laughs> and he sat there the rest of the dinner for an hour in this nice restaurant with all these like fancy people with his hair sticking straight up all because I said, Brush your hair, we need to do a drink of it. That's the person I'm marrying and that is why I'm marrying him because he just does not care. And I was sitting there and I was like, and he was ordering all normal. <laughs> if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I want to go to the Maldives. Uh, that is my bucket list vacation spot. Only thing is just like such an expensive trip. It's just so beautiful. Did you ever try to skydive? Yes, I love skydiving actually. I freaking loved it. I actually am going to be certified. Um, Yuka has some friends that are, um, they just do like jumps from everywhere. I don't know the, what the term is for it, but they're going to put us through this course. Um, I think it's like a three hour course or so. I don't know, something like that where they teach you everything and then you, he explained it to me and I was like, oh, I sure want to do this. So he's going to help me. They're going to teach me everything to do. And then um, you go on a jump with people. So when you jump and then like if you frick up, they're going to help you. But basically you just keep jumping until you get it right. Um, so I'm going to do that um, because on my bucket list is to one, be certified to skydive on my own and then um, go around the world and on my travels and skydive in um, different countries. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm so sorry that I had to spit those out on camera. I just, I, I wanted to see what it tasted like or felt like in my mouth. That sounds wrong. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> I'm sorry. Head to the gutter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, hit the notification button if you haven't already so you guys can see when I post. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. And until next time, bye.